Hello, this is Spidey1958, and welcome to my Pathfinder Kingmaker NPC guide. This time we're going to do, uh, I'm going to mispronounce this, Reg Regnagar. We'll just call him Reg from now on. Reg Regagar. He's just Reg. And that, when you get him, he starts as a second level Eldritch Skyon which is a type of magus, so he has basically magus fighting abilities. And he's a plus one bap at second level, plus four melee because of his strength, ranged attacks. You know, pretty mediocre, but we'll make him much better. So let's go ahead and level him up. So next level of magus. Boom. Okay, we're going to put both the skill points in Arcana. And you'll see why in a little bit. And next. He gets a feat. Do -de -do -de -do. Oh, good question. What to give him? Let's give him Weapon Focus. He's using a scimitar. So let's go ahead and give him weapon focus scimitar. If there's a specific weapon, you can give him something better. I would probably aim for long sword since usually you find lots of long ma magic long swords. Unless your main character uses them, you're probably not going to have much. So you have three choices. Wand wielder, which lets you activate a staff or a wand in place of your casting a spell during spell combat. Wand Mastery, which lets you use your Charisma modifier instead of the minimum modifier to cast the level of that spell. And Arcane Accuracy, which lets you expend one point from your Arcane Pool as a swift action to grant yourself an Insight bonus equal to your Charisma bonus on all attack rolls until the end of this turn. So let's go ahead and put, select that. And next. Now he gets another first level spell. We could do Burning Hands. Corrosive Touch he could throw with his, through his sword. He doesn't get shield. can enlarge yourself. Let's go with corrosive. Oh, he's already got shield. Yep, so he has shield, true strike, and shocking grass. We'll give him corrosive touch, which means that he can has his choice of doing electricity through his sword or acid through his sword. Electricity actually does more damage. So I don't know why you would why you would use acid over electricity unless there's resistance for some reason. So let's go ahead and do next. And complete. Okay, let's go ahead and do the next level. Middle level mages. Again, two points into Arcana. He gets one extra point. I'm obviously going to put that into Strength. Next. He gets his second level spells. We'll take Frigid Touch. And let's take Blur. So next. And complete. Select again. Another level in Magus. And he'll get a bonus Magus feat and Arcane Weapon plus two. So you'd be able to have it be a plus two weapon or use a plus one add-on ability. So, and next, and we'll put one in here this time, and we'll put the other in athletics. So next, he gets a feat. Is this an insight bonus too?
So if he doesn't, if he only wants to make it plus for one round, he could take that and. But it wouldn't stack with the other, so I don't think it's worth it at this point. Now, instead, if I, if you don't want to make him your athletic, you can put in persuasion and get something like dazzling display, since he already has a bonus on. Um, well, actually, maybe we'll do that as another way we could do it. We can give him dodge. We already gave him weapon focus. We can give him toughness. Let's give him toughness. Always a good feat for a fighter. Then he gets a bonus feat. Now let's give him dodge. Toughness and dodge. Acid arrow. Scorching ray. So I think the only touch attack you have is frigid touch. I think we'll, we could take mirror image. Let's take mirror image. That's an awesome spell for someone in combat. And complete. Okay. Now you were wondering why I took Arcane? Because I think he's designed to be a Dragon Disciple. So we're going to switch to Dragon Disciple, which means he won't get spells this level. But he gets to be a dragon, and he gets natural armor class, and his blood of dragons. So, let's go ahead and do next. So, let's go ahead and put the points into persuasion. And then we'll take the dazzling display, and he will be able to intimidate a mightily. And turning into a dragon later makes it even more intimidating, so... So let's uh, go with the fire motif and make him a red dragon. Boom. And complete. Okay, so next level. Another level in dragon disciple. Boom. So he's going to gain his feet selection. He's going to get plus two strength. He's going to get arcane spell casting and his dragon bite. So next. We'll put two more into Persuasion. And we'll take Dazzling Display. Dazzling Display. There we go. And then Eldritch Scion, which the only three people can be a Dragon Disciple, basically Eldritch Scion, Bards, and Sorcerers, at least in the current available classes. And then he gets a bonus bloodline feat, which you can take skill, focus, mobility, arcana, power attack, metamagic quicken, improved initiative, great fortitude, or blind fight. I think we'll take a power attack for him. So next. So do we want him to be able to buff himself? Because we can give him bull strength. Let's go ahead and give him bull strength. He may, not, he may have items that are better before he gets this, so this may, may not be the greatest spell in the world. Unfortunately, you can't swap spells out as far as I know. So let's go ahead and do next. And complete. And then do another level of Dragon Disciple. Next. And uh, let's go ahead and put the extra point in Dex, since he's currently only wearing light armor. It will help give him a little bit extra, and I don't like that odd point. And let's put one in here and here. 
So that's now at the max, so we can start adding to athletics if we want. We'll have some. We'll have to have like uh, Octavia if she's in the party. Be our uh, arcan, arcana knowledge. So, yeah. The the thing I haven't been doing right on these is you need to figure out who's going to do what skill once you know who's going to be in your party, because you want to cover most as many of the skills you can. The ones that are really important are going to be perception, trickery, athletics, mobility. And then the lords would come next. Stealth is only really useful if you're doing a stealth build. And you'll want to have someone with high trickery too. Preferably Octavia because she has one level in Thief. So she can actually <coughs> disarm magical traps. While Lindsay, unless you give her a level in Thief, cannot actually disarm magical traps. Which is why the one trap I reported as a bug was not actually a bug. So, anyway, on we go. Next. He's all about fire and what... Oh, we got to do that. So, fireball and haste. Great third level spells for him to have. And I think next we'll do... Fam well... Actually, let's go ahead and replace fireball with vampiric touch. This lets him do damage and... Give them temporary hit points at the same time. So this is actually probably a better spell for him than Fireball. So next. Oh, we must have a lower level spell. So let's see. What to give him? We can give him a large... Let's give him a large person. He can make himself bigger if he wants. So next. Complete. And the spells really make the different. What you want to do with the spells you select is really going to depend on how you play style. There is no right or wrong. It's what you want the character to do. So next, another level in Dragon Disciple. Next, one you want one in there, and we'll put the other one in Athletics. Next. Do, 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 do. Oh, decisions, decisions, decisions. He's a caster, so improved. You did give him lunge so he could attack. doesn't get shield so let's go ahead and give them intimidating proudness so that'll add even more to his intimidation role so he is going to be one fearsome intimidator so next now we'll go ahead and select fireball or displacement. I will select displacement. Next. Complete. Okay. Now here's where we have a choice. A lot of people believe that you should only take four levels in Dragon Disciple to get the two strength bonuses and then go to something else. Which of course means that you will not get Dragon Form. Which you normally don't get anyway because I don't think you get up high enough up because that's like dragon bloodlines I'm not sure how that works but the other choice at this point is you could actually take Eldritch Knight which would give you bonus combat feat and would let you add your level to any levels of fighter you might have or treat Adrich Nevels as levels of fighter. So you'd be able to get fighter only feats. 
but you'd also add your level to um, your casting. So it's up to you whether you'd rather switch out of your dragon and go to Eldritch Knight or continue as Dragon Disciple. So I think we're going to finish this build out as a Dragon Disciple. But I just wanted to make you guys aware of that, that that is a valid choice that a lot of people do. Okay, so we're up to a 22 strength. Which means when we're intimidating here, we're... Wow, we're adding 22. So we got a like a 22 intimidate. So that's pretty good. And one in athletics. And next... So let's see. So let's go out and give him Cornudgeon Cor Smash. So whenever he damages an opponent with an, a power attack, he can make an immediate intimidate check as a free action to attempt to demoralize. So this build is really about demoralizing your enemy. So then we have choice of blind fight, which is useful. Great Fortitude, Improved Initiate, Made of Magic, Skill Focus, or Mobility. I'm going to go ahead and do Improved Initiative. That way he can get some, if he doesn't get a chance to pre-buff, he can get a chance to throw a spell before he runs into combat or something like that. So. So we could do Quicken, which would let him throw first level. He doesn't have, it's four levels to throw a Quicken spell. So he doesn't have, he'd have to use a fifth level slot. And I don't even think he has fifth level slots yet. So we'll go ahead and stick with our improved initiative. So next. And that completes him. So if we look at his final abilities here. He's got lots of neat, intimidating abilities. His Marshal. His BAP is horrible. He's 10th level as a main melee type and has a plus 6 BAP. So, not the greatest for melee, but he makes up for it somehow. What? That he's plus 14 with his main attack and does a D6 plus 6. Plus, he can throw his spells on top of it and all that. So, uh, And he can always do his touch attacks if he wants to with his spells, which is still like a plus 7. And he's got his ranged attack. So he's not the hardest hitter. He's 19, not wearing any fancy armor or any other magic items. I'm not even sure what he's wearing at this point. He is wearing chain shirt. So that's the most he can wear at this point. He would have to find magical chain shirt or rings of protection or that sort of stuff. So, so anyway, that is Reg as a dragon disciple. So as always, if you enjoyed this episode, go ahead and give me a like or a comment. And if you dislike the episode, leaving me a dislike is fine. But please leave a comment saying why you dislike the episode. As always, this is Spidey1958 and... Have fun gaming.